if we ship once a month, two pallets each, yep. would an LTL carrier or LTL broker offer better pricing? Going direct to the asset, direct to the LTL carrier may gain you a better price. Um, but you want to think about if today you're shipping once a month, two pallets each, uh, and you need some more hand-holding where you're not, uh, you know, in freight operations and you need some more understanding and you need to make sure somebody's tracking that shipment through to delivery, you know, that potentially is something you're going to get from the broker that you're not going to get from the asset. Um, but you will most likely pay more for it. And if you're working with a good broker, 3PL, um, you know, you shouldn't be paying a lot more for it, but what they are going to give you is that level of customer service um, where you're only shipping a little bit. You know, Steve and Steve and Chris talked about it before, you know, calling carriers now and, you know, booking appointments with them. When you're negotiating freight, if you're in a digital environment, you're driving value to the carrier, um, which helps you in your, in your, in your freight costs. But, you know, I'll tell you, they're very digital now. And if you call, if you have to pick up the phone and call a carrier's customer service department, you're going to wait. And you're going to wait because they're in a digital environment, too. They don't have the staff they used to have because they don't need it. Um, but short answer is you may pay less, but if you need more um, kind of hand-holding through that pickup and delivery, you're going to get that from the 3PL broker.